uh, it is my hope that over time, as the kind of acrimony about the Affordable Care Act dies down, as we start to see its benefits, see what's happening, that more and more states will put on their pragmatic hat and look at how to accept these federal funds in a way that closes a coverage gap for the most vulnerable folks among us um, and, and puts their own twist on it um, if they wish to do so. But um, I believe this is the most important issue affecting uh, low-income families across the country today. The economic security that comes from having insurance coverage, the obvious health benefits, the benefits for children, and the enormous value of those federal dollars, incredible match rate, which has never heretofore been seen on offer from the federal government. Um, it makes sense from all perspectives, economic perspectives, moral perspectives, healthcare perspective. Um, so I am guardedly optimistic that we will, we will see states take this up, but it is going to be a heated debate. Um, and I really encourage all of you, and it's so wonderful you're here today, to learn more about this because, as I often say, unfortunately, health policy is often a fact-free environment. Um, and it's, that's what's going to have to happen is we're going to have to live the experience. And you all here at Arkansas have so much to say about what this has meant um, to folks here in the state, what it has actually meant to those people. It is a complicated law, but um, as a videographer said, it's not complicated for those folks who have received the insurance and for whom their lives have changed. So um, stay tuned. Uh, we will be doing more work on this, um, and uh, we look forward to working with all of you. And congratulations to all of you. It's such an honor to be here and in a state that has um, been such a leader over the years in health policy.